Learn from our national security correspondent, David Martin. <laughs> Lieutenant Brian Brennan is a walking, talking miracle. There's no other word for it. One year ago, he lost both his legs to a roadside bomb in Afghanistan, and now his mother is watching him learn to run all over again. It's the first time we saw Brian run. The 44 pounds of explosives, which tore off his legs and killed three fellow soldiers in the 101st Airborne Division, also left Brennan with a brain injury so traumatic, there seemed little hope for recovery. He didn't wake up, and that's when the real terror struck us all. Oh my, he may never wake up. They said on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, he was a 1. Then one day last June, he had a visitor. It was a very, very grim situation, very tough one. General David Petraeus, who once commanded the 101st Airborne, tried the usual words of encouragement. Hang tough, big guy. Uh, your troopers need you back out there. But his four stars carried no weight. There was absolutely no response whatsoever. Did you think there was any hope? Not really. I see his beautiful blue eyes, but he's staring right through me. And he doesn't know who I am, and he doesn't know I'm there. Petraeus turned to leave, then decided to give it one last try. I just decided to, to shout out, Curahi. That's right, Curahi. It's a Cherokee Indian word that's the motto for the famous band of Brothers Regiment in the 101st. We counted one, two, three, Curahi. That's when he kind of sat up in the bed as best as he could. Like saying, I'm in here, I'm in here. All of a sudden, uh, the lieutenant, his stumps are up and down on the, on the sheets. Uh, his head is moving around and very clearly responding to uh, his unit's nickname. Everybody in the facility was clapping and crying. The doctors who had been working on him and giving us all that bad news came running down the hall. We heard, we heard. For three weeks, he had not responded to the voices of his family. But that Band of Brothers motto brought him back from the living dead. It's just so awesome to be part of that historic unit. It was always in the back of my head. I know it came to the front. Yes, it did. After that, he just, it, it, every day got a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. Last weekend, the general and the lieutenant met up again. How are you doing there, big guy? Good, sir. How are you doing? He introduced Brennan as the unsung hero of the New Jersey Hall of Fame. That walk across the stage brought the house down and overwhelmed his father. I know how tough he is. And uh, if there's anybody in this world that could do it, it was he was the one. Less than a year after being comatose and unresponsive, he delivered a speech to a crowd of 2,000. I accept this honor on behalf of all servicemen and women. And guess what happened? One, two, three, courage! Do you know what curry he means? It means stand alone. How perfect is that? There wasn't a powerful organization on earth that didn't penetrate, including the bad.